Now this word is lexophile. Let's say the parts of lexophile. Lexophile is a noun and it's a person who loves words. Exactly. How did you figure that out? Tell your partner how you'd figure out lexophile. You guys are exactly right. What you did were took the parts, the known roots from either Greek or Latin, and know that lexicon is a, pertains to words or books, and phile or philios means loving or dear. Um, we have other words in the English language that use either one of those parts, then I'm sure you can think of some. But we're going to go with lexophile is a lover of words. Now that's what, we, in our context, that's what we want all our students to leave in May being lexophiles. We would love it if all of our students just love words. And you can make that happen or you can increase the odds of that happening in your classroom by being word conscious and helping your students be word conscious. So that's lexophile, lover of words. Now there are many relatives of lexophile and when there are many relatives relatives of a word, you should show your kids because we know that by the end of the year they should learn 3,000 new words in your class and you can't directly teach all of them. So if you teach words that have a lot of relatives, then you're increasing the chances of them learning more words. So this is lexicon. What word? Lexicon. Lexicologist. Lexicologist. Lexicology. Lexicography. Lexicography. Lexicographers. Lexicalization. Lexicalization. All right. Now I would do girls and boys, but it'd be a little rough on you, the, the man. So we'll do you people that love Superman more than Batman, you go first. Okay, the other group, go, fast. Okay, great. Now, you notice that I'm having you pronounce these new words a lot because pronunciation is the hook in your brain that connects that word and its meaning. So the more you have kids pronounce the words, the better. And there have been studies done that teachers do a great job of themselves pronouncing the words many times without the kids actually having to produce the word and pronounce it. So the, the point is to try to make sure that your students are pronouncing these words. So. Whenever you show them the relatives, you, you should tell a little story. So we have the lexicon of a lexicologist is a dictionary. Some lexicologists may specialize in lexicology. Um, lexicography is a study of, let's see, lexicography, I got to read this, sorry. And it's okay, because Anita Archer even had to read it. Some even specialize in lexicography. And then those guys are called lexicographers. These people write dictionaries. And they use a process called lexicalization to choose what words go into the lexicon. Back to the top. So th that's the, the word family of lexophile. What word? And a lexophile is a lover of words. Okay, this time twos. I would like you to start with this sentence starter. I'll model. I would be, con would be considered a lexophile because I love to read. 
And when you read, you're exposed to many words. So I love words. All right, to start, then ones. Go. Okay, one thing I heard um, is that they would be considered Alexa file because when they read and come to a word they don't know, they go look it up. They find out the meaning of new words. All right, now we're gonna play a little game with how surprised would you be if? I'll start. How, I would be surprised if Alexophile was seen reading an Avengers comic book because Alexophiles are lover of words, so I think they'd be reading big, long novels. Now, that's not necessarily right or wrong, but as a teacher, could you tell if I knew what Alexophile meant by that? Right, that's just my opinion. There's really no right or wrong answer on the how surprised would you be if. As long as you can tell, it's another formative assessment if they know the word. So ones, you do the first one. Twos, you're, you're going to do the last one. And that's a challenge because you're using both of our new vocabulary words. Go. Ones. Instruction of Polysimus and Lexophile. What were the two words we learned? All right, we introduced the word, presented a student friendly explanation, and when we introduced the word, we had students, in, that, in this case you guys, pronounce the word and illustrated it with examples, and then we checked for understanding using sentence starters and playing. How surprised would you be if?